One of my favorite ways to create content is actually to educate my audience. Now, if you've seen a few of my videos in the past, then you know that I love doing a lot of screen recordings, specifically screen recordings with me in a little bubble at the corner of my screen. Now, I love doing these screen recordings because it helps me clearly explain step-by-step step exactly how to do something, but at the same time with the little bubble in the corner, I can clearly show my emotions and expressions when I am explaining something. Now, I typically do these screen recordings with an app called Loom, which I love, but did you know that you can actually do these screen recordings with a bubble right in Canva now? Now, do mind you, there are some pros and cons with doing screen recordings with Canva at the moment. So I thought I'd show you how it works first and then we'll go through some of those pros and cons today. Hello, hello, I'm Cheryl here at the Made on Sunday studio. I talk all about branding, design, and creative entrepreneurship here. So if you are building or growing your own creative business right now, then be sure to subscribe to follow along. Now, before we hop into Canva to do this tutorial, I wanted to really quickly tell you that my newest Skillshare class just launched. It's called Romanticize Your Business Video Content Creation with Canva. It is for my service-based entrepreneurs entrepreneurs, you know, copywriters, designers, coaches, or whatever kind of service-based business you are running right now. It's to help you kind of ease you into using video content as a means of marketing your business and yourself. I'm going to go through all of the basics from how to strategize and set your goals for your video, how to script, write your shot list down, what kind of equipment you should use, picking your music, to actually filming with just your iPhone and then editing with the Canva video editor. So if you are a service-based entrepreneur and you're really wanting to finally start creating video to market your business, then this class is for you. I'm going to leave my links to a free one month subscription to Skillshare and you can take my class for practically free. All right. I cannot wait to see you in class, but for now, let's get on into this tutorial. All right. Hello. Welcome to my laptop. We are logged into my Canva account now. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open up a YouTube video canvas because I think most likely you're creating a screen share video for YouTube. So I'm just going to do it in mm, the YouTube dimensions, but if you want to do it in any other dimension, that is up to you. So what I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to go into uploads. I know this is often a feature that people cannot find. I don't know why they put it in this space, but right under upload files, you can actually see a button called record yourself. And that actually brings you into the recording studio. And as you can see here, I'm going to close up this, um, bubble so it doesn't get confusing, but basically you can now start recording your screen here. Um, there are a couple of different, um, ways that you can screen record. So you can just do just the camera, which as you can see is my bubble right here. We can do camera and screen and here you can choose which tab you want to open or which window, or you want to do your entire screen. That's okay too. Um, or you can do just your screen. So you can also choose like which camera you want to use. So in this case, you can pick like the default, like MacBook camera, and you can also choose which mic you want to choose. So right now I do have my wireless go mics, um, like plugged in, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to do my regular MacBook microphone. And so I'm going to choose camera and screen, and I'm just going to choose like this tab right here, which is my website. And we can either click on view tab here, and this will go back to the Canva, um, screen recording studio, or we can go back to the tab. But if you want to start recording, you can click on record here. And as you can see here, you have to actually click back into the tab in order to start recording. So let's say we are talking about the screen here, but you probably have noticed that you actually don't have your speaking bubble. Um, like you can't see your speaking bubble while you are screen recording. So that's one, like, I guess, uh, 
con of actually doing screen, screen recordings with Canva. I'm not really sure why, but I'm hoping that they will improve this feature in the next update. You can head to like a different page and it'll keep recording totally fine. But if you want to actually see yourself, you actually have to go back to Canva and then you can see your bubble again, which is really odd. You just need to know that your head is there. Let's say we just click on done here. Don't worry about moving your head at this point because Canva actually records the head and the screen recording separately. So you can always just move your bubble when you go into editing, which is really easy. So that's how you kind of start screen recording and also talk to the camera at the same time. So once you're done with your recording, all you do is save and exit and Canva is you going have to, to click. Um, upload both of the videos, the screen recording and um, your bubble recording all in two separate videos in your video section. So now you can adjust the video however you like. I'm going to make this full screen so that you can see um, the screen recording. And then as you can see here, this is the bubble recording and you can put it anywhere in the screen. Let's say I want it in the top right instead. Let's watch this really quick and see how it looks. You have to actually click back into the tab in order to, to start recording. So let's say we are talking about the screen here, but you probably have noticed that you actually don't have your... Okay, there we go. As you can see here, it looks really great. But if you look really closely, you, you can actually see that actually um, my screen right here is really, really clear but my video recording, screen recording is actually quite low resolution. As you can see here on my face, it is really kind of blurry. The text here is also kind of blurry. So keep that in mind that at this moment, um, recording with the Canva video screen recording is actually quite low resolution. Even if you export it in 1080p or 4K at this time, it's not super high resolution. So I'm really hoping that this is an update that they will um, do better next time on the next update. Um, but other than that, it works really well. You can actually record your whole screen. You can record any tab, um, which is perfect. Um, so yeah, those are kind of the pros. It is so easy to use. You can do it right in Canva it, and it is completely free. Now, one of the cons, obviously, as I talked about, is that it is quite low resolution for the screen recording itself. And also, you can't see yourself when you are recording the bubble. So that is one kind of weird feature that I'm hoping that that will be, you know, enhanced in the future. So that's it. That is how you screen record right in Canva itself super easy to get started today. All right, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Now, before I let you go, I do wanna remind you that my Skillshare class is finally out, Romanticize Your Business, video content creation with Canva. It is going to take you through all the basics and my whole process of how I create my video content as a means of marketing my business. So if you're excited to finally start creating video content to market your business, then be sure to take the class. I'm gonna leave the links to my one month free trial to Skillshare in the description below and you can take the class for practically free. It is made for beginners and everyone in between, so I cannot wait to see you in class and I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye.